Hello, it's Megalithic here. Today we're putting out a video on uh, tips on melee-only Warzone. Now, if you're completely new to Warzone, uh, melee-only, then we have got a basic tips video out. The link will be in the description. I'd advise you go and watch that first. It covers things like movement and defending and attacking. Uh, this video is covering uh, more intermediate levels of gameplay uh, in melee-only. Uh, but before we start, we're just going to make sure you've got your loadout right, of course. So uh, do go in with a riot shield. Don't go in with the combat shield there. So it's the riot shield you're going to want, not the combat shield shield uh, obviously take yourself some sort of melee weapon in there uh, whatever you want a knife will do or a sword uh, then when it comes to perks you can go for EOD uh, go for restock definitely and uh, do go for shrapnel as well so it's restock and shrapnel that are essential and uh, you can mess around with EOD or whatever you want there uh, take a throwing knife in or anything like that and of course a stun grenade okay that's pretty much the basic setup so let's get started Okay, the first tip is a tip that works for melee or for gunplay, and uh, it basically uh, take a, a trophy on your car. Whenever you see a trophy, pick it up and go ahead and slap it on your vehicle, uh, and that's going to allow you to drive around uh, safely without, uh, or at least relatively safely, without worrying about uh, getting it hit by explosive things. People can still shoot you, but uh, yeah, I mean, there we go. So uh, if you get one, it's going to serve you, and there's always somewhere you can stick it uh, on a car like that. And like I say, uh, it protects you from explosive damage, effectively. The guy's going to throw something at me now and the trophy defends it. So yeah, it's a rolling trophy. And uh, like I say, always stick one on the vehicle there. Uh, and it's also worth remembering, if uh, you get out of car, it can roll downhill and kill you. And you can also roll down it. Okay, uh, the second uh, sort of piece of advice is try to engage targets indoors. Uh, now, this is assuming that you've already got the basics of uh, sort of handling yourself and uh, you know being able to get around and whatnot. And now you're going for bounties, we're sort of assuming, or hunting people down, which is what you should really be doing. And the benefit of being indoors is you can hide behind uh, walls and stuff like that, so they can't get you with semtex or thermite, you know. Uh, and there we go. So yeah, just uh, ducking behind walls and whatnot. Uh, and the other thing it does is it sort of stops other people sort of third party in you. If you're way out in the open there, then uh, people, uh, oh, you know, so other people can get involved. And we've got an example of that here. We're pushing on a dude right here and going for him and there's been sort of a kerfuffle going on. Let's draw the attention of someone else and there they go trying to get involved now. So yeah, if possible, do try to uh, try to engage targets indoors. You know, if you sort of lead them in that way yourself, if you can sort of fox them in or whatnot, but that's the best way to do it if you can. Uh, and here's another example. That dude was quite close, but yeah, it's, this is towards the end of the game, so this is why it happened more. But yeah, there's a dude up there trying to engage, and now we're getting taken down. And if we watch the actual kill cam, see where we get taken down from. Yeah, it's a dude way up there. So yeah, it's not always possible, of course. Yeah, sometimes you've got to take people outdoors. But like I say, if you can if you can get them indoors, then that's the better thing. Now, do be careful when you are taking people indoors. Uh, you've always got to watch out for those corners, of course. Uh, yeah, there we go. They can kick you like that. They can sort of uh, get you by surprise. And of course, there's always <laughs> the other danger. The builder may already be occupied by somebody else. So yeah, it doesn't always work out. But uh, better to try to engage them indoors than outdoors. Okay, uh, the next uh, the tip I would give is uh, as soon as uh, these are basically basic tips, you know. But as soon as you take someone down, as soon as after you've been in an engagement, take cover right away and armor up, you know. And again, best to do that inside if possible, you know. And uh, it's not always appropriate or possible, you know. Sometimes uh, there's no one, uh, there's no buildings immediately around. Uh, and yeah, I'm trying to armor up outside now, thinking it's perfectly safe. But like I said, the problem with it is that uh, yeah, if you're out in the open, you're you've been fighting, and yeah, someone else could come along. And there we go. So yeah, you know, basic basic tips really. Uh, but if you uh, if you are going to be uh, you know, uh, like I say, engaging an enemy as soon as they're down, as soon as you got them out of the way, and you can always loot later. You know, I do sort of loot. I do a quick once over the body. Uh, but then it's heading back inside straight away uh, and uh, you know, taking cover, uh, which basically yeah, leads us on to the next point, which is you know, basically always expect a follow-up attack. Yeah, so that's uh, that will be the next tip, effectively. If speaking, uh, every time you engage someone, uh, you know the, the noise of not your gunshot, but their gunshot is gonna or could draw somebody else in. I'm gonna bring the sound up on the clip now, so you can hear because you can't see them. I'm getting real sloppy. And there we go, yeah. So uh, the uh, the engagement with the one chap there drew somebody else. And it can happen sort of, uh, you know, uh, indoors or outdoors, uh, anywhere really. Guy's just about to get away and here comes somebody else in a car. So now I'm surrounded by two cars and yeah, you can guess that's not going to end well. Okay, so yeah, uh, there we go. That's the other dude who's coming around now. So yeah, big trouble for me in this one. Oh, no, I don't make it out. 
Uh, and here we go, here's a very quick one. This dude is, this fight's been going on for a little while as well. It is outdoors, and so as soon as this one guy goes down, I get immediately engaged by somebody else there. So yeah, do be prepared for those follow-up attacks, you know? Okay, so the next tip's a very simple one, and it is always carry a munitions box, or at least try to carry one if you can. I can't tell you the amount of times that they've come in useful. Now, I very rarely deploy them, to be honest, uh, but when you do need them, my god, they're a life send. There we go. I sort of already uh, threw my stuns, missed my push on the one guy because he got away from me, but I'm straight back into the action. So, yeah, you can pick them up for 4,500, or you can pick them up for free if you get lucky, but do carry one. Okay, and the, the final tip, I guess, is uh, if you're pushing on bounties, and like, uh, like I say, this is uh, assuming that you're sort of more basic, but assuming you know how to handle yourself and you are pushing on bounties and stuff like that, always leave your, I've got high alert on as well, uh, always leave your car a short distance away. Uh, and what that basically does is it stops them from using it as an escape vehicle. Uh, now, I don't have any clips of that happening because I stopped doing it such a long time ago, but yeah, always leave the bounties in front of you, you can see there. Uh, and uh, yeah, just like I say, always leave that car a short distance away so you know uh, like I can't usually get away from you you know okay so good luck have a good time and if you want any more tips look at TKO and I wasn't even there we go you want to talk about bad luck I wasn't even killed by the dude who I was attacking